All right, I am working on another computer I just picked up. Got it for free from my brother that came from my sister-in-law's office. They said it was having problems crashing and they've upgraded it. So actually they took the hard drive out because there's still information on there that they need, which is fine because I got another hard drive I'll be putting in it. So in the meantime, I'm just going to get this thing open and I think it opens on this side. So, yeah, I'm going to need two hands to get this thing open here. Hold on. Here we go. I'm just going to get this panel out of the way. This is a Dimension E310. The first Dimension computer I've had. Everything else has been Optiplexus. So, cool. Yeah, there's the hard drive carriage. A couple of old IDE disk drives in there. I don't know if they work or not. I may change them out for SATAs. Let me see what we got in here. Okay, so this was the SATA cord there. So, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to use, I've got a spare IDE hard drive. I'm going to pop in here, so I'll pull these out. Change them for SATAs. Yeah, it's got 2 gigs of RAM. I uh, don't know the processor. I'm sure it's Pentium 4, 2 gig something. But uh, it had Windows XP, then had Windows 7 installed and worked on it pretty good. And yeah, something was going on where, uh, okay, so that's where the hard drives are going right there. Um, yeah, something was going on that was causing the, uh, the thing to lock up or whatever. So, eh, interesting. Just checking this out as the first time I've opened it. But uh, yeah, so I've got two two SATA connections, so yeah, I'll just use those for the disk drives, like I said, and then I'll use the IDE for the hard drives over here. Yeah. So, I just prefer... Actually, you know, I mean, I've got... What do I have over here? Yeah, see, I got three SATA disk drives, they're burners, and then I've got the IDE um, disk drive right here, so yeah main reason I'm, I'm going to do that. So anyway, yeah, I'll get started tearing the stuff out and installing new stuff or old stuff. Now, well, right off the bat, I can see I'm going to have to do some modification to this cartridge, or this carriage, I should say. Yeah, it's blocking my power supply and part of the IDE cable connection there. So, yep, yeah, I'll have to trim that little tab away there. There we go, that's looking better. <laughs> Little modification. Alright, it's in there. I guess this hard drive mounts upside down. So, <laughs> had to figure that out for a bit. Now I'm working on plug extensions, which this one will be converted to two SATAs. I've got a Y adapter here, so... Get them separated there. <clears throat> yep, one and two. So that'll power my disk drives. I've already got the front plate off and the screws out, so these should just slide right on out. These are old too, so... Date code... Um, I don't see one. So, anyway, IDE. They're pretty old, so... Yeah, I don't need them. This is just a... Well, it's a burner. Yeah, isn't that nice? But, uh... Date code. It's a light on. I used to use those, and LG I thought was better. They lasted better. Um, eh, I don't know. So, anyway, going through my box of wires and junk. So now I'll go ahead and get my disk drives here and dig them out. All this junk around here. Okay, LG, LG, yeah. Why not? We'll use a couple of them since I've got extras on hand. And a can of uh, air. I might go ahead and blow this thing out. Ugh. Make it through. <clears throat> yeah, any computer tech probably has a miscellaneous box of crap like this. Yep, I'm going to need that too for the extra disk drive, so you betty.
Fun, fun, fun. Now let me go ahead and get these two in and wired up. All right, in there. I should clean that one off before I even put the plate back on. Yeah, I just wiped off the front, so that's good. Just pop the plate right back on. Yeah. Of course, it wants to be a pain. Okay, learn as I go. Goes in like that, like a hinge, and then snaps in. A little something like that. Well, cool. Yeah, so a couple of LG. SATA, oh, SATA drives, now we'll hook them up. Now that's weird, if you can barely tell, this cable stretched pretty much to the max. And they barely reach, like, see, this one's bowed up a little bit and this one's bowed down. Like, there's a little too much tension on there, I don't know why. I mean, I guess that'll work, but I don't like that at all. Alright, so we're connected up. Both SATA drives. Yeah, there's the blue cable and the red cable, and hard drives hooked up. Everything is mounted in. So I think we're ready to go ahead and fire it up and load Windows 7 on it. But before we do that, let's blow it out. Oh, yeah, that's dusty. Wow. Oh, that's probably good enough. Oh uh, yeah, old phone modem connection. <laughs> Don't think we need that in there since this thing's already got uh, the Ethernet on board. So yeah, get rid of the dead weight. All right, well let's see how it does. Yeah, looks good. Dell. Of course, it doesn't have anything in here yet, so no boot device. So uh, let me do that real quick. Well, trying to get this thing to boot, and I'm just gonna have to go into the BIOS, I guess, because it doesn't want to recognize the disk in the drive. So <sighs> always fun. Okay, old Dell system DV051, blah blah blah. All right, let me do some changes in here. All right, well. We got a 3 gig processor in here with typer threading, so uh, yeah, 3.06. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, finally. It was seeing the second one as the primary instead of the top one, so I got that straight now. Loading files. Well, that thing makes a lot of racket. <laughs> but so far, so good. Yeah, while I wait for the drives drivers to load. Ouch! That felt good. I'll install a fan for additional exhaust because I'm all about keeping keeping it cool in here. That'll look good. There we go. A little something like that. Works pretty good. I'll just tuck the cables out of the way. Nice. That'll work out. How are we doing here? Starting Winders. Okay. Oh boy. Well, let's see. What language do we want? My language is English. Next. Install now. Make it so. <laughs> Alright, so I had to fight with this hard drive because there was an existing partition on here and I had to go in and delete it and I just went ahead and reformatted it so there wouldn't be any issues and now it's going to be loading for quite some time and getting updates so I'm just going to let it do its thing for a while and uh, being that it's already 
getting dark. I'm going to probably call it an evening. And uh, yeah, I'll do an update on this here in just a bit when uh, everything's loaded. Let's see how, how it does. Alright, so far we're loaded. Updates haven't been done yet and don't have any speakers hooked up yet so we'll just go to control panel and we'll go by categories here. Let's see. Um, we want to look for system. There we go. <clears throat> okay. 2 gigs, 32-bit operating system, which is good. Pentium 4, 3.06. So, uh, yeah. I think that'll work for another office computer. So, cool. Well, there you go. So I'm going to be spending most of the evening with updates and all that. So, uh, yeah. Everything looks good to go with this one. So, there you go. Upgrading a uh, Dimension, Dell Dimension E310 with Windows 7 and uh, installing a hard drive and DVD drives and all that so alright hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching